day, everyone. Today, we will introduce software control for RGB link video processors, Expose. Expose is a very useful software with visualization interface and consistent functions. Let's take Venus X3 as an example to show how to use Expose. Expose can be downloaded via RGB Link official website www.rgblink.com. Before we go to Expose software, please connect the device with Expose via network cable or Siri cable. On Expo's login interface, we choose Venus X3 for demonstration here. Expo's can also support Venus X1, X2, X7, X1 Pro, and VSP628 Pro. After login, click Search. Choose the IP address which is same as the device we are going to control. Expo's will go to the recent operation mode after connecting. If other operation mode needed, we can close the existing mode and select a new one in primary menu. There are six operation modes for X3. Video world mode is the most widely used. The following sample is intended to demonstrate some basic features on Expose. Let's say there is a display, 5460 and 1050 pixels. Need to switch from one picture to more pictures. Before any demonstrations on Expose, output resolution should be set firstly. There are regular output resolutions and also custom ones. In our case, the output resolution is 1820 and 1050 pixels. It's not in regular resolutions, so we put custom numbers into settings. After setting the output resolution, we go to the video wall operation mode. Let's have an overview for the interface. On left side, there are monitors and signals. Is editing area in the middle plus editing tools on the right. Top is function menus and parameter settings in the bottom. Now we are going to set the total display numbers. If all the screens are regular, I mean square or rectangular, we may turn on the quick split to make it easy and fast settings. According to our case, we will put numbers as below. If the screens are irregular, we will need to do the monitor settings one by one. Close all the default monitors and quick split menu. Then drag all the required monitors to editing area. Each monitor can be set up by mouse dragging. Or we can just put specific numbers on the button. For the signal settings, we can see all the inputs on left. Click Refresh Signals to sync any new inputs. There is also a very useful tip to rename the signals by your needs. It's very simple to drag and pull the signals on editing monitors. You can scale to any size by drawing the signals directly. If more specific parameters required, we can put numbers in the button. Expose enables fast mapping by drawing signal through all the outputs. When mod pictures needed, like more than two pictures or layers, the only thing we need to do is drag another signal to existing picture or layers. Each output card on X3 can support a maximum 8 pictures or layers. After seeing one finished editing in Bank 1, we can change the default name Bank 1 depends on your program. Now we are going to create another scene. We can just copy Bank 1 if layout of scene 2 is almost the same. 
There is a tip for changing signals. Choose the layer we want to change and then double click the new signal on left. It's done. 16 banks can be saved in existing page. If there are more banks needed, we can have another 15 pages. That means we can save up to 256 presets or themes. Expos have a wonderful function for save and load scripts both online and offline. It can avoid any mistakes if you need to do same project in different places. Expos support many different operation modes. It enables the processor to work in its full performance. Fade mode means fade in and fade out, which makes all transitions are seamless. Preview mode have a preview monitor before taking anything out to the audience directly. That's a very important function for rental companies. Link mode give more layers via internal or external link. 3D signal can only processing in 3D mode. Matrix mode makes the processor working as a matrix. Signal duplicating and backup can be very easy. There are many other functions on Expos, except for operation modes. In input settings, we can find the DSK or Chroma key. Source backup. Source merge. Four K input settings. and H.264 settings. Expos can control multi-units by a slave menu. It controls multi-units with same configurations at one time. It's very useful when standby system required. Hope you have got the basic functions on Expos today. See you next time. Thank you. Mm -hmm.